Regular Show is another cartoon that I mostly watch some of the episodes. Mainly the fact that even though that this show's premise is kind of unique of its own way, it still didn't get me invested for the characters and the situations that they get themselves in. Not saying that I boycotted this, it's just that by the time this show was on, I was only watching some of the episodes because I was watching the newer episodes of Adventure Time back in 2011. And there was one episode that I did watch from this show that was considered bad. There may be terrible and awful episodes that are worse than the episode I'm going to be discussing, but this episode, since this is the only episode I've watched that is a bad episode from regular show, it deserves my critique since there were in Cartoon Crisis. The episode I'm referring to, that is, of course, is the best Bargo in the world. The episode starts with Morkai and Whippy talking to the other people about to the employees. Well, I don't consider them their friends because some of them are their friends. Told them about the grill mop truck while they're making the Ultra Meatum, which is a very tasty hamburger that is one of the best burgers in the world, which is by the title of this episode. It's so great that it's only ex it, it only it's only be it's only been served for a hundred years. Here's the issue with that: they had to make this hamburger really important. Even if everything that they shove into the hamburger, I don't understand to why they had to suffer for a hundred years. I mean, five years or a decade, maybe a year, fairly, but a hundred years is just. It's just something that doesn't work even by with the show's logic. Even with watching some of the episodes from this show, I can really tell you that this is no well of what the show can do when it comes to making the risks really pressure when it comes to Morikai and Wigme. I get that eating a hamburger is one of the I know I get that hamburgers is one of the best meals in the planet and the show in this episode is trying to make this hamburger really important when it comes to 100 years but at the same time they're just trying to have some kind of conflict on just trying to have more kind of whippy desperately want to get the hamburger despite the fact that this is the type of hamburgers that might work in the real world despite the fact that it's a little too much yes in the real world cartoons don't usually work out in the real world but for the logic for the logic like this you can still make a hamburger like this. So I honestly think that the idea of having the hamburger only being so for a century is obviously over the line of logic in this show. Now, his friends, well, their friends or employees are really psyched onto having that burger, but Benson appears that Benson arrives and told that the other employees have nothing else to work, except that Morikai and Rigby had to do all the chores that they didn't finish over the past week. Now usually, I would usually understand onto how Benson would do this kind of stuff. He wants to actually have Morikai and Rigby completely do most of the chores that they didn't finish, but the thing is, he wants them to do all the chores. It may be a punishment that needs to be alone, but at the same time, he also for forbids them from getting any burgers at the grill and mop truck. To me, that's honestly way too far, even by Benson's character, onto just trying to actually get the entire neighborhood clean. And yes, I am aware that Benson is the park manager, and he's in charge on keeping the whole place clean for his boss. But at the same time, Morikai and Wigby isn't going to go to isn't isn't going to go to a different location and spend the rest of the day there. Eating hamburgers during a lunch break will probably only take like ten minutes, especially since that eating having a lunch break is is usually what employees do during the during their jobs. So, I honestly think of what Benson is doing here is honestly pushing the limits. Now, what do I mean by that? It's the fact that he's just trying his hardest to prevent Morikai and Wigby to go to the Grim Up truck to buy some burgers. But every time they try to get away, 
Benson, he completely stops him. I understand, I get that this is Benson we're talking about and he cannot stand Morkai would be, but at the same time, like I mentioned, eating lunch wouldn't, does not take as long as going to a different place to get something. That will probably take like an hour or stuff like that. And the fact that he's just preventing him, preventing them to get any hamburgers or the grill milk truck, it just makes this episode a lot more unpleasant. I get it. This is basically something that Morkai would be needs to learn by not slacking off and ignore the work like they usually do in the show. But this isn't really punishment for them if Benson just keep if just keeps blocking them from getting any hamburgers. And when we see the other characters eating hamburgers, even though that they're not rubbing it in their face, they completely enjoy the hamburgers of how valuable it is. Seriously, in my opinion, the fact that they're really glorifying how amazing this hamburger is, you really feel bad for Markai and Wigby. And the fact that Skip says that it's only that the people who work at the Grim Up Chuck said that one that only one customer can have one hamburger, that just raises the stress and pressure of Markai and Wigby. Now, for me personally, I really have nothing against what Mordecai and Rigby. Then again, I didn't watch the entire show, just some of the episodes. And I will admit that they might be un- And I understand and not realize that they became unlikable as the show continued. But by this point in the show, in season 3, I honestly think that what the- What the suffering in this episode is really on call for. A punishment just trying to- Let them do chores while I'm going to just get one hamburger per each, is honestly not a punishment that is deserved, since that, for anyone who doesn't eat a hamburger, is a real chum. Okay, I, I may got that wrong, but you know what I mean. And just seeing Benson just preventing Morkai and Rigby makes him really unlikable in this. Anyway... E when we get back to the plot, Benson just completely scolds Markai and Wigme that the fact that they're talking to the other employees, despite the fact that it wasn't completely intentional. Granted, what I mean by that is that they're not taking a break, but at the same time, Benson actually f assumes that they're having a normal chat with the other pe with other citizens in the town that they live in. Not only that, when they arrive at Skip's garage. He, uh, he completely kicks them out of the golf, of his golf truck, or cart, or whatever you call it. And the fact, and they have to completely clean out the entire garage. And he also laughs at it. Seriously, does a boss usually do this kind of stuff? I mean, in some episodes, in other cartoons, and live action sitcoms, maybe, but with this type of situations that Morkai and Wigby is in, this really makes Benson really unbearable of how he acts in this. So anyway, after they are this close, well not really this close, but just completely finishing up cleaning up Snip's ship, Skip's garage, they see a whole, they, they encounter the hologram 9000, which is a duplicate machine while that can clone them. Well, not really clone them, but they just completely turn them into uh, to glass papers or whatever you call it, the, the glass, glass figures or something, I don't know. A bottom line is, is that they're not really like the, the other counterparts of Morkai and Wigme. They're just completely glass with their bodies into them. I get that this is something that takes place in the... the in the, in the last decade where technology isn't advanced, but at the same time, this also leads to another situation that they got themselves into like they did in the other show, like in the other episodes. So when they completely head to the Grim Up truck to get their hamburgers, they... Benson completely realizes that the duplicates or whatever you call them are completely fake, or the holograms are completely fake. And he, of course, he he completely wages out, watching to get to Markai and Wigby. But then the holograms woke up, and then when Markai and Wigby managed to get the hamburgers, 
the dupe, the holograms completely take them from them. Here's the biggest issue I have with this episode. I know that regular show is infamous for the right reasons on having these serious fight scenes and action sequences with the characters in the situations that they get themselves into. But here, it's really forced in. The fact that Markai Rukmi had to use holograms just to get the burgers is honestly really forced, even by the fact that this is a way of just trying to have an action scene in this show. For me personally, I honestly think that the action show action sequences in this show is good for what it is, but for this, it's honestly phoned in for the sake of just having Mark and Rigby, Rigby not eating the burgers. And not only that, when Benson completely saw what's going on, he still prevents Mark and Rigby on eating the hamburgers. I honestly think, I get that this is the third season and Benson, Benson has went through a lot of serious scenarios in the past, but at the same time, I, the ending honestly ruins his character. Well, not really ruins his character, but it makes him really unlikable, or shall I say, despisable. So, without any other choice, Markai and Ruki cannot able to fight the, the holograms with their own fists. So instead, they throw rocks at them with, with choir music in the background. I honestly think that this is supposed to be meant for humor purposes, but at the same time, it's honestly out of place. Mainly the fact that they're really just trying to up the ante on making this book really valuable to Mark and Wigby. And when and when Wigby completely takes that thing that's supposed to stop our trucks and cars to go backwards, the car just completely goes back without the two people making the ball goes coming out. Which leads to the ending of this episode. After Mark and Rigby completely destroyed the holograms, Benson completely eat the hamburgers for no reason. If people are gonna say, if people who are defending this episode is gonna say that this is the punishment that Walt, that Mark and Rigby, Rigby, Rigby deserves, then no, I don't. It just makes Benson completely unlikable because. At the same time, it's just really on call for the fact that he just instantly ate those eat those hamburgers while Markai would be just completely stop the holograms while the burgers are completely land on the ground. Not only that, Benson was knocked out the throughout the entire fight. So it honestly makes no sense onto how he would eat burgers during this whole situation that Markai and Wigby are into. And believe me when I say is that even though by the time of this episode I wasn't into burgers. I am right now, but for anyone who's been waiting and dying to eat something that is so valuable and not waste up so much time, and it's only for one burger per customer, by the way, Benson eat two hamburgers instead of one, it honestly makes this ending way more uncomfortable and miserable to see Markai and Wigby dealing with the situation that they didn't, that they're the only ones who didn't get the burgers. Especially the fact that Benson completely, completely told them that it took them a century to clean up Skip's garage. It's only been a week or two. A century is honestly way over exaggerating the fact that they at least did most of the walk in the park that you're managing. Should you at least give them a lunch break? Ha once the once they done half of the walk, seriously, lunch breaks always exist during jobs, and this is just not enough for you to have them eat a hamburger. Just because they're gonna eat a hamburger doesn't mean they're gonna fall asleep or completely slack off because of how glorified the hamburger is. Seriously, and when Benson, when and when Mark, Kai, and Rigby try to get to the try to get two more hamburgers, the grill them up truck the grill them up truck completely gets into the pit and then exploded. And that's how the episode ends. If you're gonna say this is Rigby's fault for taking that object that is put to prevent vehicles from falling over, let me, let me remind you that he's desperate to eat his hamburger and all the stress that you went through. I honestly think that this is honestly a forced ending to have have no dialogue from the from Morakai Rigby to see the truck completely destroyed. Not only that, the two people who made the hamburgers were still inside. 
you could, like I said, you, you couldn't just get out of the vehicle when you got the chance. So at this point, the hamburgers that were made from these two people will never be seen again because they died, because they were not small enough or even bothered to get out of the truck. I will admit though that regular show, despite have despite me having mixed pants on, I still consider it one of the most underrated cartoons in Cartoon Network in the 2010s. Mainly the fact that it's probably one of the better cartoons than cartoons like Teen Titans Go and Uncle Grandpa. Even the fact that this cartoon came out before those cartoons came out in 2013 or later. But when I ever see episodes like this where they try to give some kind of punishment to the characters, they do it but for the wrong reasons. I get that Morkai and Rigby need to actually completely do the chores like what they do as employees, but just not having a lunch break honestly makes Benson really unlikable. Now before any of you ask, yes, I am aware that Benson is just doing this for the sake of keeping his job. And the fact that he's just, he's not like Morkai and Rigby. But the way he's punishing Morkai and Rigby by not having a simple lunch break, doesn't even excuse his behavior in this. He's way too harsh and the fact that he's completely completely preventing them to get a burger from the truck honestly makes this episode really stressful for me to actually see Benson as a as a as a likable character. Now look, I did see some of the episodes that Benson and his in his temper issues can be justified. But when you completely see his angle into this, it's honestly falling in for, in for the sake of just trying to have some kind of some kind of obstacle for Morkai and Rigby to avoid in order to get the hamburgers. And the fact that they're trying their best to make the hamburgers really special, despite the fact that it's only served for 100 years, it makes this episode a lot more forced and honestly hard to take it seriously. Because... When you have Benson completely unlikable while pushing the employees out of the cart, then that is something that can easily make this episode one of the worst in the series. And, and for me personally, if I was ever in this situation, I would probably still do the chores, but I would still tell my boss if I can have a lunch break, or request my boss to have a lunch break if I'd done half of the chores. Besides, even though that cleaning up the garage is honestly a difficult task, I will probably spend the majority of my time on cleaning up the garage after I get something that I desperately want. Seriously. Even though that having a burger only being served for 100 years, despite being way overboard, I would still do my best to actually do the right thing, but at the same time trying to do my own thing by getting the burgers for myself. So yeah, this episode is honestly the worst episode I've seen from the show. Yes, there are other worst episodes, but I didn't see them, so I consider this the worst episode. I don't even have any interest in to re to reviewing the other bad episodes, mainly the fact that they could be worse than this, and Considering I have so much videos to be uploaded for this month, I really need to save. Uh, I really need to really save my suffering from actually watching these terrible episodes. Seriously, Morkai and Wig Me, even though that they're instantly one of the worst characters from Benson's perspective, I don't think that they deserve this kind of punishment on just having to do all the chores so they can, that they can have a one burger for the lunch break. Anyway, I give this episode a 3 out of 10.